Welcome back to our Family Focus special. As we continue our reports, we're now going to focus on health. That's right. And it's obviously an important concern from the moment a child is born. And breastfeeding provides a multitude of benefits to the baby and mom. And sometimes a little fine-tuning is needed for this very natural process. And so I generally will grab my scale, which is a you know, hospital-grade scale, so I know it's giving us accurate measurements. Tess Johnson is making a house call. Hello, good morning, Hi, Maria. Hi. How are you? Hey. There's Noah. She's not a doctor, but she is providing a service to ensure okay. two-week-old Noah gets off to a healthy start. And do you know which side you want to start this with? Side. Okay. Tess is a lactation consultant. She helps moms like Maria Provincio of Fresno fine-tune what, for many, doesn't always come naturally: breastfeeding their baby. This side doesn't hurt at all anymore. Right? Okay, good. So that's a huge improvement because yeah, that was really painful before. Greater than 80 percent, let's say closer to 85 percent, I believe, that initiate breastfeeding when they enter the hospital, they say, yes, I want to breastfeed my baby. And yet the success rate is still very low. In Fresno County, of the 85 percent who nurse their newborns at the hospital, fewer than 40 percent continue when they go home. But there are many reasons to bring those numbers up, including health benefits for infants and moms. The hormones actually that help us produce milk actually also help us bond with our children. So my, my, my hope in doing lactation consulting is to help moms and babies and their families reach whatever goal they want. For Maria, who nursed her first son, who's now three, the goal involves positional adjustment so she and baby Noah can nurse in comfort. And so we have her, you know, sometimes in the rocking chair, almost like reclining back a little bit and tucking his hips really close to her mm -hmm. and that opens his nose up and he gets really good alignment that way. Mm -hmm. and as soon as we fix that alignment, she already went, wow, oh, okay, that feels a little bit better. All right, handsome boy. Two weeks into it, Maria's a bit tired, but she Noah's doing great. Very good. So over two ounces in just oh, one, yeah. one side. Another successful house call with another baby off to a healthy start. And there are so many reasons to breastfeed your child. Breastfed babies have a lower rate of infections. And new studies also show that they may have fewer behavioral problems. So an added incentive. Good stuff. And here are some more facts about breastfeeding. Over 90% of moms worldwide are breastfeeding their children. Breast size doesn't matter. I know sometimes people think that when it comes to breastfeeding. Studies show breastfeeding reduces the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. And financially, breastfeeding also saves the family budget hundreds of dollars. That's so true because formula can be expensive and it, it is wonderful to know that there are resources available like a lactation consultant exactly. to come and assist moms because sometimes uh, you do need a little bit of help to get through that process. Well, let's check back in with Justin Willis in Studio B. Justin. Well, guys, we've got a couple of lactation consultants here with us as well. So, I mean, if you've still got more questions, uh, hopefully we can answer a couple of those for you. But uh, uh, let's just kind of start off with um, uh, the benefits uh, of breastfeeding. And uh, we've got Julie Casillas here that's going to tell us a little bit more about the benefits. I know there are a lot of parents out there with questions about why they should or why they shouldn't. Yeah, they really should. There's lots of benefits to the baby. There's benefits to the mom, benefits to the family, the community. It's healthier for the baby. They get sick less often, less allergies, less asthma, showed signs of less obesity. For the mom, she has less chance of breast cancer. Losing that pre -pregnant, the pregnancy weight that she's gained, hopefully she'll lose that quicker. For the family, it's really important. Like they were saying in the piece, it's not it cost you nothing. So it's nice and cheap. Nothing to throw away in the trash. It's always ready. It's free. It's ready to go. All right. And uh, we got Tess Johnson as well. And Tess, I know some parents have uh, concerns about whether or not their baby is getting enough milk. How do they tell? Well, a lot of times we begin with just how the baby's acting. If they're feeling and looking satisfied, oftentimes they are. Um, another thing we look at would be if their wet and dirty diapers are showing signs that they're getting a nice excess of milk or enough to keep them going. And ultimately, it's all about the weight gains. So we expect in the very beginning for the baby to lose a little bit of weight, but very quickly they turn that around with breast milk, and um, they should start to regain that, that weight very quickly, and um, we can monitor that very easily. Excellent. All right, Tess, Julie, thank you so much for your time tonight. And uh, we've got more here from Studio B coming up later on. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Justin. Well, of course, we all know that the Central Valley uh, does have poor air quality at times. Unfortunately, that's true. When we come back, how many kids here at home are battling asthma every day?